There is a figure in American Indian myths that represents this power of the dynamic of the total psyche to overthrow programs. This is the, the negative aspect, and it's called a trickster. Hello. Hi, I'm Detective Fonieri. This is my partner, Detective Lieberman. Are you Louis Boone? Yes, I'm Lou. You live here? Yes, that's right. Here we come inside. Why? Why not? You want to? Yes. I don't care. <laughs> Wonderful. With this footage, people would turn to your channel for the story. Now, I like you, Nina. And I look forward to our time together. But you have to understand, 15,000 isn't all that I want. From here on, starting now, I want my work to be credited by the anchors and on a burn. The name of my company is Video Production News, a professional news gathering service. That's how it should be read and that's how it should be said. I also want to go to the next rung and meet your team and the station manager and the director and the anchors and start developing my own personal relationships. I'd like to start meeting them this morning. You'll take me around, you'll introduce me as the owner and president of Video Production News and remind them of some of my many other stories. I'm not done. I also want to stop our discussion over prices. This will save time. So when I say that a particular number is my lowest price, that's my lowest price. And you can be assured that I arrived at whatever that number is very carefully. Now, when I say that I want these things, I mean that I want them, and I don't want to have to ask again. And the last thing that I want, Nina, is for you to do the things that I ask you to do when we're alone together in your apartment, not like the last time. So, I'll tell you what. I have the van crash on Moore Park tonight. There's a couple of stringers, actually, that could leave by itself on an average night. I'd be willing to throw that in for free. So what do you say? Do you have a deal? Uh, it's a very, very important figure in American Indian mythologies. In, uh, in the East, in the forest lands of the Northeast and uh, Southeast, it's uh, the great hare, a rabbit. Uh, when you go west of the Mississippi in the Plains lands, it's Coyote. What was it you really wanted to capture with this character? I think that there was... For me, when I read the script, there was a lot about Los Angeles, but particularly about the sort of the topography of Los Angeles was fascinating, even written in the screenplay. And the idea that at night, these creatures come out, you know, these... Uh, Specifically, literally, the creatures of the animal kingdom in Los Angeles are coyotes mm. and other, you know, um, other animals, but really specifically coyotes. And if you live in Los Angeles, and I happen to have grown up there, they're all over the place looking like they're starving, looking hungry, and looking like they're going to literally eat you when they stare you down. Um, with They're fearless. You know, they're fearless creatures. And, and uh, there was something about there was something about the nature of this character that was very much like that. And it wasn't like you're cutting away to shots of coyotes. You're literally watching the personification of a coyote. And then I thought of coyotes as a metaphor of the film. He's so hungry that he would, like, when he got something searching for meat, like, he would tear it apart, you know, which he does. And I just felt like it transformed physically to that. I always thought of him as a as coyote. That's how I thought of him. He was both a kind of devil and fool and the creator of the world. And uh, so he comes in as an upsetting factor. He breaks through. He, he even breaks through the notion of what a deity ought to be. And uh, this, I think, is about as good an example as you can find anywhere of the trickster hero.